Hi, my name is Tamir Luvne and I am a Product Success Architect at ServiceNow. Today we'll review service mapping using ServiceNow's Agent Client Collector and show a quick start demo of configuring and using this feature. With Agent Client Collector for visibility, you can run pattern commands directly on the host, as opposed to remote commands run when utilizing agentless top-down discovery. Same patterns, different command execution. When does this help? You would usually not replace your entire agentless discovery process by installing agents on all machines, but in some cases this could be helpful. When credentials are an issue on specific machines and you would like to avoid providing credentials to the mid-server through the instance, you can use this feature to bypass this requirement. Before running service mapping using the agent, we need to make sure that we have the following items in place. Our instance should be on Washington DC release or higher, and the Agent Client Collector for Visibility app needs to be installed. What happens behind the scenes? Patterns are not synced to the agents and do not actually run on the agent. Pattern logic is still executed on the mid-server, but when data is required from the target machine, the mid-server requests the agent to run a command to retrieve that data and it receives that data back from the agent when it is available. To activate ACC-based service mapping, we need to set the following system property value to either one or two. One will attempt to run the patterns using the agent client collector on the target machine and will fall back to the agentless approach if one doesn't exist. If you set it to two, it will attempt to run the patterns using the agent client collector on the target machine, but it will abort the discovery if one doesn't exist. Now let's have a look at a quick demo. Okay, so for the demo, let's have a look at some of the prerequisites that we need to install in order to run service mapping using agent client collector. We need agent client collector for visibility plugin that we can install here. And then we need to set a system property called SA top-down mapping with ACC mode to either one, which is try running service mapping using agent client collector. And if one doesn't exist, then fall back to traditional agent list discovery using the mid server or two, try agent client collector and abort if one does not exist. I've set mine to two. And now I'm going to create an application service, a new application service for an application that I created, which includes a Tomcat server, which is connected to a MySQL server. I will enter my entry point for that service and I will give it a name test app and I will add those and then I'll go to view my map and we can see that discovery has commenced It found my Tomcat server and now it's working on the next layer, which would be my actual app within the Tomcat server. We can see that it found my query app as I indicated in my entry point. And from there, it also found a connection to the MariaDB or MySQL server that the app connected to. And now let's have a look at the discovery log. 
can see that it actually ran the commands using agent client collector. So if I look at my Tomcat pattern, I can see that whenever the system had to run a command on the target host, it used ACC to execute the command, which tells me that it used the agent client collector to run those commands. We can see the same thing when discovering the MySQL server using ACC connection to execute command on Unix with the agent. To summarize, we went over the uses for agent-based service mapping, explained how the feature works, and showed a demo of this feature in action. Hope this video was useful and feel free to contact me if you have any further questions. Thank you for watching and see you on the next Ranger series video.